nomine Patris et Filii Spiritus Sancti. Dominus Vobiscum. Fratres agnos camus peccata nostra, ut aptissimus et sacramus tidia celebranda. Compitio Dei Omnipotenti et vobis fratres, qui peccavi nimis cogitatione, verbo opere et emissione. Me culpa, me culpa, me maxima culpa. Idio preco viate Mariam sempre virginem, omnis angelos e santos, et vos fratris orare pro me ad dominum Deum nostrum. Misere auto nostri omnipotens Deus, et de misis peccatis nostris peduc et nos ad vitam eternam. et miserere semper et pacere, te supplices exoramus, pro famula tua Elizabeth, quem a te migrare justici, ut quia in te speravit e crediti, concedes eum a verum paticem peduci, et gaudis prefru prefrui sempitanis, Per Dominum nostrum Jesum Christum filium tuum, cui tecum vivit et regnat in unitate Spiritus Sancti Deus, per omnia secula seculorum. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. No torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster. They're leaving us like annihilation. But they are in peace. If they experienced punishment as men see it, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their affliction. Great will be great will their blessings be. God has put them to the test and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. When the time comes for his visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They shall judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be their king forever. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love, for grace and mercy await those he has chosen. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
A, re a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them, like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel will call out the command, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died in Christ will be the first to rise, and then those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, you should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat>
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Martha said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, whatever you ask of God, he will grant you. Your brother, said Jesus to her, will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again at the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. If anyone believes in me, even though he dies, he will live. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she said, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who was to come into this world. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, welcome to Mass Day today, on this rather strange day for all of us, as we celebrate a requiem for the repose of the soul of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Just to say to you some practical things that the collection, if you're here, you can use real money, or you can use the machines at the back of the church. If you're joining us online, please give on the parish website. I ask you also, if you would at this time, of course, to keep the royal family in your prayers. It's difficult enough dealing with the death of someone when it's contained within the family and friends. But when, of course, like for the royal family, it's business as usual, it's very, very tough having to face all these people and seeing what's in their faces, but keeping yours steady. So please pray for them. It's a very tough time. If you'd like to leave a seven-day lamp burning for a particular intention, you can get one after Mass at the back of the church, or if you're joining us online, you can do it on the parish website. Two bits of very nice, jolly Catholic news. One is that the Shrine of Carlo Acutis has now been finished, apart from the final painting, but it's carved, it's ready to ship here very soon, and so we're on date, uh, on track, sorry, not on date, on track for the blessing on the, uh, of the shrine on Wednesday the 12th of October which is the feast of Blessed Carlo at 6.30 in the evening and Bishop Nicholas Hudson will be celebrating that Mass so please put it in your diary and something else for your diary is we, after a couple of thwarted attempts by Covid I'm delighted to tell you that Cardinal Robert Sara will be coming to visit Corpus Christi to celebrate Mass for All Saints and to preach at the Sodality Mass. Further details are on the newsletter, and we'll keep you posted. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All of us, as we go through life, we learn from each other. And hopefully, we share what we learn with those around us. It's just a part of being who we are and being alive and being part of the community. From the early age, we watch our mothers and fathers at home as they carry out various tasks. We see the things that our siblings do and show us and tell us. Some good, of course, some not quite so good. And in our school and further education, in the classroom, with our friends, we grow and we develop as we become well-formed and educated human beings. And over the decades, in our own relationships, perhaps then, of course, with our own children, the sequence begins again. And we learn much from being part of it in a different way. As Christians, of course, we learn particularly from the life of the church and the faith we're taught in our early years. 
And as it grows and develops within us, we too do the same thing. As life progresses, we learn more about ourselves, what we're really like, and we learn more about the faith we love. And we develop the desire and the ability to apply it to ourselves in the manner in which we live our lives. And so as the years pass and the years progress, we learn to look at things in new and different ways, relating to the challenges we receive and the lessons that we learn through both life and faith. All of that, of course, depends on a desire and a willingness and an openness to embrace what we discover about our faith, which is constantly thrilling us. And the relationship is open, it opens to us, particularly the most precious relationship that we have, and that, of course, is with God himself. And this development of the union of faith and relationship creates a great movement within us, shifting self from the center and placing God there instead. That is not just achieved by knowledge, but also by the self-realization that our earthly life is the forum where we express our faith. But there also comes another realization that earthly life is not forever, but will come to an end. An end which, for all of us, no matter how old we are at this moment, draws nearer a day at a time. When we're young, of course, we hardly ever think about it. We think we will live forever. But as time passes, this realization becomes more of a companion. As slowly, steadily, but surely and inescapably, the end of our earthly life draws ever nearer. As Christians, of course, we should see that as a great blessing from God. We're given many opportunities in this life, and we should grasp them and be filled with joy at the relationships we share and embrace. Not one day should be wasted, because we'll never get it back. Living all of this in the right way, incorporating all of this into a life of faith, Living it with God at the center leads us to the very end, filled with hope and expectation for the future, for all of that which lies beyond an earthly death, for a future with God, our most blessed lady, and all the angels and saints who surround the heavenly throne. Our beloved Queen Elizabeth, had a long and good life. At only 48 hours before her death, she received the new prime minister and asked her to form a new administration. I understand she also spoke with Mr. Johnson when he went to see her and took took him to the window and got him to admire the beauty of the garden he saw before him. We've seen the gradual deterioration of the health of Her Majesty over the last few years, especially after the death of her beloved husband, the Prince Philip. None of us will ever forget the sight of her sitting alone at the funeral in St. George's, Windsor. I'm certain there were many prayers offered that she would reach and be able to celebrate her diamond jubilee. And our hearts were full of joy when she stepped onto the balcony at Buckingham Palace to be greeted by a great roar from the crowd filling the mall. It sort of made us feel secure for the joy that in fact all was well and it would go on forever. But when we removed our blinkers and looked at the reality of the situation, I'm sure that we and she were aware of the closeness of death For anyone at the age of 96, it can never, ever be very far away. 
In her Easter message in 2020, in the midst of COVID, she said to us, Easter is not cancelled, and then gave us a most wonderful, straightforward exposition of the Christian message, which we can all fully embrace. She spoke about light overcoming darkness, Jesus being the light which banishes all darkness and sin. She said, as darkness falls on Easter Saturday, one light is lit and the flame is passed from one to another, spreading and filling the church. We know that this is the light of the resurrection as Jesus fills the church with his new life a new life which comes to us from beyond the grave. For Jesus has conquered death forever and gives us hope. She told us it's a good way of showing how the good news of the resurrection has been passed on by every generation until now. Discovery of Jesus, said Our Majesty, on the first Easter day, gave followers new hope and fresh purpose. And we can all take heart from this. For as dark as death can be, particularly for those suffering with grief, light and life are greater. May the living flame of the Easter hope be a steady guide as we face the future. What a wonderful expression of a personal and living faith from someone filled with hope and expectancy for the now and for the future. When we reach the end of our life and have lived a good Christian life and are filled with such confidence in the risen Lord, what need do we have to fear? May our blessed Saviour Receive Queen Elizabeth into the house of the Father and give her the life that she lived in this world and for which she longed for the future. Almighty God, you are the author and sustainer of all human life. Grant that your servant, Elizabeth our Queen, whom you granted a long and happy reign as monarch of these lands, may be forgiven her sins and rewarded with that eternal life promised to those who are born again in the water of baptism and the power of your Spirit. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. Credo in unum Deum. Et in unum Dominum, Jesum Christum, Filium Dei Unigenitum. Deum Dei Deo, Lumen de Lumine. Deum Verum, Te Deo.
propter nos homines, et propter nostrum sanitem, descendite celi.
Patrum Sacrificium, et optabili fiat abut Deum Patrem Omnipotentem. Suspitiat Dominus, sacrificium ne madibus tuis, ad laudem et gloriam nomini sui, ad utilitatum quoque nostrum, totiusque ecclesiae sua sancte. Pro famula tua de Elisabeth, salute hostius tibi Domine, subreciter offerimus tuum clementium deplicantes, Ut qui filium tuum pium salvatorum esse non dubit habit, misericordiam judicium inveniat, qui vive de regnat in secula seculorum. Amen. Dominus vobiscum, et usitum corda, Gracias agamus, Domino Deo Nostro. Vede Dino medius tom est, equamus salutare. Nos tibi sempre de dubicre, gratias agere. Domine Sancte Pater Omnipotens Eternae Deus. Per Christum Dominum Nostrum. In quo nobis presbiata resurrectione se fulsit, ut quas crantis de certa mori en de conditio, eusum consoleto, fertore immolati latis promissio. <coughs> Tuis enim fedelibus Domine, Vita mutato non tolito, et isolato terestis huius incolatus domo, et anem in celis habitatio comperato. Et ideo, cum angelis et hoc angelis, cum trones et dominationibus, Cumque omnia malitia celestis exercitus, imum gloriae canimus, sine fine discentes. Mento Domine, Famalorum, Famalorum, Quae Tuorum. Et omnium circumstantium, quorum, tibis fides cognita est inerta di virtus. Pro quibus tibi offerimus, vel qui tibi offerun hoc sacrificium laudus. Pro seis iusque omnibus, pro redemptione animarum suarum, pro spes eluce comunitatis sui, tibique redund votus sui, eterne Deo, vivo e vera. Comunicantes et memoriam venerantes, in primis furioso semper virgenes Mariae, genetrix Dei Domini Nostri Jesu Christi, sed et beata iusdom virgenus sponsi, et beatorum apostolorum materium torum, Petri et Pari Andrei, Jacobi Ioannis, Tomei, Jacobi Felipe, Bartolome, Mathei, Semis et Tadei, Lini Clinti Clement Sixti, Cornelii Cipriani, Lorenzi Crossogni, Ioannis et Pauli Cosmei Damiani, et omnium sanctorum torum, quorum medicis pericutibusque concedis, ut in omnibus detectionis tuum maniama agisilio. Hanc igitur oblationem servitutis nostri, sede cum te famile tui, quae sumus domini implicatus et cipius, gesque nostris in tua parte disponas, atque ed eterni donationi nos erupi, et in lectorum torum iubis gregere numerare. 
Am a blatian to des in omnibus quae sumus benedictam as scriptam ratam matanave macetta blinque vegeris dineris. Ut nobis corpus et sanguis fie delitis mi filii tui domini nostri Jesu Christ. Qui pride quam paterenta et cefit panem in sanctus et venulabas manus suas. Elevatis opus in celum at te de patris omnipotent. Tibi gratis, gratis agens benedixit fregit dedique de chifres suis dicens. Accipite et manducate ex hoc omnes. Hoc est enim corpus meum, qua provodis tradetur. Simni modo post functionatum est, a cipiens et hunc plecarum calicem et sanctus et venerabas manus, suus item tibi gratis agens benedixit et dedicui de shepherdus suus dicens. A cipite et bibite ex eo omnes. Hic est enim calic sanguinis mei, novi ed eterni testamenti, qui pro vobis et pro multis et vendeta in remissio in impeccatorum. Hoc facite in meum commemorazione. Mysterium vitae, autem <coughs> tua, Resurrection and confitemo, tone venias. On dead memories, Domine non service to a sede plebs to a sancta, he used in Christi fili to a Domine nostri, tem beati passionis, nec non ed ab infres resurrectionis, sed et in genus glorioso essentionis. A famous plecari mes date tui, de tois doni sectatis. Ostium porum, ostium sanctum, ostium immaculatum, panam sanctum vitae eternae, calicem salutis perpetuae. Supraque propitio ex reino vulto, respice din jeris, et a chapter habere, sicur a chapter habere sit din artus est. Munere puri utui justi apel, et sacrificium patriarchi nostri apre, et quod tebi obtidit summa sacerdos to omne chisidec, sanctum sacrificium immaculatum hostium. Chester, Ogamus omnipotens, Deus, you'll be here prefect of Manus Sancti Andri Tui in Sublimio Atare Tui, in Cospetto Divina Meis Artis Tui, ut quot quot ex hat Atares Participatione, Sancto Sanctum Filii Tui Corpus et Sanctum Sum Serius, Omni Benedictione Celeste Gratia Replia. Momento etiam Domini, Familorum, Fraerum Gratorum, qui nos pretius erum cum sine fide, et dormiant in somno pacis. Ipsis Domine et omnibus in Christa Gricensibus, locum in vigere lucis et pacis, os indulges de precarum. Nobis quoque peccatoribus, familis tuis, de multitudi in miseration to aros parensibus, partem ali per me societatum doniari dineris, contuis sanctis et postles a materibus, coniane, Stefano, Matea, Barnabé, Ignazio, Alexandro, Marcellina, Petro, Felicitate, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucia, Agnete Gicilia Anastasia in omnibus sanctis tuis. Intro quorum nos consortium non astimata meriti, se venia que sumus lagita admite per Christum Domnum nostrum. Quem hac omnia Domne semper bonas crias, sanctificas, vivificas, beneficis et prestis nobis. Ad ipsum et cum ipso est in ipso, Es tibi Deo Patri Omnipotente, in unitate Spiritus Sancti, omnes honor et gloria, per omnia secula seculorum. Amen. 
recepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, odemos dicere. Mater nostra, Somos domini ad omnibus manis, da propitias pacem in diebus nostris, ot hope misericordiae tui audiuti, et a peccatus simes semper liberi, et ab omnipotabatione secordi, expectantes beatam spem, et inventum salvatoris nostri Jesu Christi. Domine Jesu Christi, quid exis postulis tuis, pacem relinquo vobis, pacem meam de vobis, ned espicies peccata nostra, se fidem ecclesiae tuis, Eum quae secundum voluntatum tuam pacificare, e codignare dinieris, qui vivis et regnas in secola seculorum.
Oremos. <coughs> Domine Deus, cuius filius in sacramento corporis sui vaticum nobis reliquis, concede propitius, ut per oxora nostra Elizabeth, ad ipsum Christi perveni ad mensum eternum, Qui vivit et regnat in saecula saeculorum.
et de nos inducas in tentationem. Apportat in fede. Requiescat in pace. Domine exaudi orationem meam. Dominus forbiscum. Oremos. Absolve que somos domini animam familiam tuam Elisabeth. Et omni vinculo delectorum, ut in resurrectionis gloria inter sanctos electos tuus, resuscitate respiret, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Requiem eternam dona ei Domine. Requiescat in pace. Anima eos, sed anima omnium fidelium defunctorum, per misericordiam dei requiescat in pace. Omnipotens Deus, ut famulus tuus carolus rex noster, que tu miseratione su shepid reni gubera in acola, vi tutum etiam omnium percepiat incrementum, quibus discenter ornatus et vietorum mosra vivitare, et ad te qui via veritas et vita est, Cum regna consorte e parole regia graziosus, vaniat per venire, per Christum Dominum nostrum. 